Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we love you. Uh, hello, friends. Uh, this is uh, me here, uh, Apostle David Karanja, uh, inviting you into our today's uh, Open Heaven uh, Conference. And uh, we are extremely excited that uh, God has given us another opportunity to be able to come to you live. Uh, this is our 12th day of uh, the Open Heaven Conference. We are believing God for greater things. We are saying that uh, heaven uh, has to open over your life, over your family. And as we have said over before, the last 11 days, there are those things that uh, uh, men have to do to provoke heaven over their lives. God's desire is uh, for you and I to walk in open heaven. It is not God's desire for any of us to walk in any close heaven, but uh, there is what it is that we must do on our part uh, to be able to provoke open heaven. So we will pray, then we will bring uh, in uh, uh, the servant of God, Apostle Dr. Uh, Moses Karioki, uh, all the way from uh, Nakuru, uh, to be able to share with us uh, one of the, the, the things that we can do to provoke heaven uh, over our lives. So, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, we yes, want Lord. to thank you and we want to bless your holy name. Thank you for Amen. the opportunity that you have availed to us to be Amen. able to fellowship, to be able to come uh, on this fourth day of this uh, Open Heaven Conference. Father, we mm. want to declare in the name of Jesus Christ as your mm. servant to share your word. Let it be that mm. our eyes will be able to be open, oh God. We pray for yes, grace God. to communicate. We pray for mm. grace to open the eyes of men, to be able yes, to God. see what it is that we need to do to do, oh God, that our heaven mm. may continue to be open. Father, we Amen. declare in this generation, Father, mm. we will glorify your holy name. We give you praise Amen. and we give you honor in mm. Jesus' mighty name. So, uh, Apostle Amen. Moses, uh, I want to take this opportunity to welcome you uh, into you, uh, Open Heaven Conference. And uh, it is you, a great honor on behalf of uh, Christ Harvesters to be able to host you. And uh, yes, I'll sir. let you swing in and uh, uh, share with us what it is that uh, the Lord has uh, put in your heart, and uh, we will we will we'll pick it from there. So, uh, ba, uh, to you now, uh, Apostle Moses. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, uh, servant of God, uh, Apostle David Karanja, uh, and and, and uh, the entire uh, Christ Harvesters, uh, together with all our viewers, wherever you're watching us from. It's a great joy to come to you online. We thank God for this great door that the Lord has opened. I want to appreciate you, sir, for uh, choosing me to be the one to speak tonight uh, in the list and the host of friends that uh, you have, great men of God that have been speaking powerfully mm -hmm. ahead of me. And um, starting with yourself, you really blessed us. Uh, my senior mm -hmm. prophet Paul, who gave us a powerful word, and my brother, Pastor Isaiah, and every other man of God that are, mm. has been able to come and be a blessing by the measure of grace that mm. God has given unto the Lord. Mm. I want all viewers to understand that we are not here preaching because our host has nothing to say. Mm. Uh, this is one of the men of God that I know who can be able to preach for 365 days every day of the year because he has a great relationship with God, but it's a great privilege to have an opportunity to come because of the diverse graces that God mm. has been able to accord us. I'm speaking tonight on the message title, Open Heaven Through Honor. And since the man of God has prayed, I just want to uh, pick from there and we proceed. Mm. Uh, I normally say in every bunch of keys, mm. uh, in every bunch of kingdom keys, mm. uh, every key that works to open the doors, in, mm. in, in, you may refer them to keys, you may refer them to battles, you may refer them to points, you may refer them to steps. Mm. Uh, honor is always one of the keys, one of the steps, one of the points, one of the buttons, one of the doors, you know, mm. because every time we come closer to god mm. what actually according to the scripture moves god mm. is not what we say 
Because the Bible says these people honor me with their lips, so they are mm. talking. Mm. Their lips are moving. They mm. honor me with their lips, but mm. the honor of the heart is not there. Mm. And you see, honor is of the heart. Mm. So God is saying when they approach or they come before me, or when they are commanding heavens to open, mm. then honor must be there because we have to understand they are there is God and mm. there is us here. Jesus came mm. to bring us together. He's the mediator. He came to mm. bring us back to the Father mm. and be able to, you know, cover the gap that was there by making or by his blood, he developed a relationship between us and God. Mm. And so actually the days that we are in is mm. not so much of God to us, but mm. so much of a father to us. We are his children. And as his children, then we should understand for mm. our father who is in heaven mm. to be able to release and command mm. the, 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 the skies, I mean, the heavens, sorry, the mm. heavens to open, then we have to be able to understand the relationship we have with our father. You see, all points are very important. All subjects are very are very, very important. You know, all topics that we hear are very important. But I believe the greatest topic that we can be able to understand and put it as a primary is, uh, I mean, the primary point or the platform is the understanding of the relationship that we have with our father. The relationship we have today is not the relationship of him and the Old Testament church. We have a relationship now that we are his children. We refer him to our, our father. He's mm. our, our father. We call him. We have the spirit of God in us. And mm. so having the spirit of God in us, mm. then we understand, and this God is very powerful, very rich, very a wealthy God. Mm. You know, heavens, they walk on gold. Mm. When a father is that wealthy, he mm. does not bring up his children so mm. that the children are able to assist him. No, he brings up these children and mm. all they want is a relationship. You'll find some of them even when they are, you know, they, they are in the process of negotiating for dowry with, for their daughters to be married. They are not interested with how much the young man will bring. All they want to know, will this young man take care of my daughter? Because mm. my daughter had her own bedroom. My daughter was driving her car. We mm. are good. So all we mm. want is not a business. We are not selling mm. a cow here. We are not selling a piece of land here. We want mm. to know, can the relationship continue? We have a relationship with our father. He mm. is our father. And mm. I believe with all my heart, mm. our father is not interested with mm. what we bring to him that is mm. minus honor. Our mm. father is not interested with our tears in his mm. presence mm. when we don't have honor. Honor mm. is all because I believe with all my heart. All fathers that are watching right now, including mm. all sons that are watching mm. me right now, mm. you know that the desire that your father has is mm. when you honor him. They don't mm. want anything else. The moment mm. you honor them, they mm. are happy. I mean, they are those that would want to be appreciated because maybe they are lower financially, but, mm. but honor is very important. So, mm. so look at this. The Bible says in the book of Malachi, we start in Malachi, then go to the next book. That's the book of Matthew. Malachi chapter 1, verse number 6. Malachi chapter 1, verse number 6, the Bible says, A son honoreth his father. Mm. This is non-negotiable. Mm. These are the words of prophet Malachi mm. that is speaking through mm. God. God is saying mm. a son, he does not say a son needs to, mm. a son must to. There is no need of putting anyone between a son mm. and honor. Mm. He says a son honored his father. He's automatic. Mm. It mm. must flow. It mm. must move on. Mm. A son honored his father. Mm. Now, I want you now to combine, to take that statement, a son mm. honored his father, and then go with me to the book of Matthew chapter 3, verse number 16. Mm. You will be able now to understand this so that you're able to move very well. Matthew chapter 3, verse 16, the Bible says, And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straight away out of the water, and mm. lo, the heavens were open mm. unto him. Mm. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a door and lighten up him. Now, mm. verse number 17, the Bible says, And lo, a voice from heaven saying, this is my beloved son mm. in whom mm. I am well pleased. Mm. Now, understand that. A son, mm. not a child, not just a boy, a mm. son honored his father. Mm. Now, when Jesus was baptized, 
heaven open. The first voice that came was to identify the relationship of the father and the son. Mm -hmm. And he said, the father said, mm -hmm. this is my beloved son. Mm -hmm. So what open heaven is not mm -hmm. the baptism of John. Mm -hmm. What open heaven? Because the Bible says, and John baptizing people, Jesus also. So mm -hmm. there were people who were baptized before and after Jesus, mm -hmm. but only Jesus, his time, the yes. heaven opened because mm. it was the son mm. who was being baptized after mm. 30 years of obeying mm. and honoring the father. The son mm. that was mm. walking in the highways of gold, he mm. came to wear slippers and walk mm. in the dusty roads of, uh, of Bethlehem. Mm. But he, he accepted mm. to stay. Can you imagine mm. Jesus who was mm. in heaven mm. with the God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. He's mm. now calling an earthly man, Joseph, Joseph Daddy. He's mm. calling an earthly woman, Mary, Mom, mm. knowing his mandate and his assignment mm. until 30 years. 30 years mm. of waiting. And mm. after that, when he's going to be baptized, mm. heaven had to open by the key of the mm. honor of the Son. Mm. The Son honored the Father. Mm. Heaven had to mm. open automatically. Mm. Now, I like this verse 16, it says, and mm. uh, uh, when, uh, and Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straight away out of the water, and look, mm. the heavens were opened unto him, out of the water, so that mm. it is not John that is opening, you know, the heavens. He had already left the territory of John. John mm. is called John the Baptist. For you to be mm. called a John the Baptist, you're always in the water baptizing. But Jesus mm. walked out of the water. When mm. he's on the dry ground, I can imagine, uh, like our church, there are people who are singing, there are women mm. and men with towels to wipe your face. So maybe mm. they were there after the face of Jesus was wiped. He's mm. already standing. He's out of water. Mm. Number, number two person to be baptized has come to be baptized. Then mm. heaven opened. Now, mm. and God said, this is my beloved son mm. in whom I'm well pleased. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, mm. I want to say this to you. There is, there is a father will never mm. say, this is my son in whom mm. I'm well pleased when that son is minus honor. Mm. When that son is, that son may be having everything, but when mm. that son is minus honor, a father cannot say, I am well pleased with this son. Mm. Let, let him drive the latest car. Let him have mm. all degrees and, mm. and that are supposed to be given. But when that son is in honor, the mm. father will say, this is my son, but mm. not this is my son in whom I'm well pleased. Mm. That part of whom I'm well pleased mm. must be connected with mm. honor. So Jesus was able to command heaven to open and publicly Heaven was open, and God declared, this is my son. And remember the previous book, Malachi, he says the son honored his father. Mm. And he said he will send Elijah to return the heart of the son back mm. to the father so that he may mm. not cast the earth. So mm. that moment, after 30 years, heaven was open, and the father confirmed, mm. this is my son. Honor opens heaven. And it does not open heaven. It opens heaven and commands a voice to come from heaven to affirm and confirm on this earth that this is my son. We are in the sonship. The Bible says as many as received him, they were made or they became the sons of God. But becoming a son is not the only qualification to command the heavens to open. No, sir. And we understand, we can, of course, we cannot be able to compare the relationship of God with us, with the relationship of mm. our father and mm. us, or us mm. fathers with our children, because we are limited. But truth be told, there are people that God has said to them, you have pleased me. Mm. You have done well. You have done well. Thou mm. good and faithful servant. Mm. <laughs> and among those men, and all those men, had mm. honor towards God the Father, God mm. the Son and God the Holy Spirit. Mm. So, so, so quickly, let's let's take some few points that pushes honor. That I mean, that pushes or commands heaven to open mm. uh, in the dimension of honor. 
-hmm. And of course, one of them is the mm -hmm. one that is not favorite of many people that is written here in the Bible. But I want to bring it in a way that um, you will love it. Because, you see, God will mm -hmm. always bring a man to a place of doing an mm -hmm. exam, not mm -hmm. being tested mm -hmm. or tried, just mm -hmm. the way we normally say, you know, mm -hmm. uh, 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 in Swahili, in Kenya, just Majaribu. But it is a way, it is a way of way, the same way we walked with our children, you know, mm -hmm. trying to make sure they can sit and, 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 and moving them from the sitting level. And when we are walking with them, we do not hold their hands all the way. We mm. walked in some place, we left mm. their hands, where they are going, then we'll, we'll pick them. And, mm. and that one was an exam to move them to mm. the next level. They mm. keep on moving to a level where a son is so mature, the father is able to share the mm. secret uh, mm. uh, uh, of his heart with the father. We, mm. we, we, I, I lost my father not long time ago, about three mm. days ago, we buried my father. And we, we did not, after that, everybody wanted to gather, all my brothers and sisters wanted mm. to gather around me just to hear about my father. And my father did not need to call me the last day and tell me anything because the journey we have walked together, he has told me everything that mm. he only needed to sleep and we give them, a, a, you know, a good send off. That's all. Mm. And the rest I communicated with my brothers because we walked mm. together with him and mm. I kept on growing and understanding his heart. And also he kept on trusting me to release a secret in my heart. Mm. And mm. this number one key that is mm. very important is what I call honor in financial faithfulness. Mm. Honor in financial faithfulness. Now, you all know, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you're watching me from, that there is nothing from me in terms of finances or from you that will make God go out for shopping, that will make heaven change their menu. There is <laughs> nothing in us that we give that will make sure the heaven electricity is paid or their roads are being done. Heaven is not collecting taxes from us. Mm -hmm. But I discovered something. When the Bible says in the book of Malachi chapter 3, verse 10, I bring you all the tithes into the house of the Lord, that there may be meat in my house. And then he said, uh, uh, approve me now wherewith says the Lord of hosts if I will not open you the windows of heaven I will not open the heavens to you I believe here uh, uh, is this is not a law this is not a, 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 a law that was mm -hmm. given mm -hmm. to the children of God like to be monitored everywhere mm -hmm. but when I read this I discovered it is a measure of faithfulness mm -hmm. you know can you honor God and be faithful to God with your finances? Mm -hmm. I listened to one man of God that blessed me so much. He said, in the dispensation of grace, it's not about the amount or the targeted percentage. It is the targeted amount of love. And every time you hear love, you measure the percentage of love mostly with the percentage of giving. Because when you love much, when you love more, you give more. John 3, 16. Mm. For God so loved the world, and then he gave his son. He loved us so much beyond giving us gold. He loved us so much, he did not give us anything else. He looked around, and the only thing he would give after loving us is Jesus Christ. And so every time when you're moved with love, you don't bring the 10% as like, Somebody mm. is waiting when you don't bring mm. this or when you don't bring the 10% into the house of God where you are serving, mm. you're mm. going to be punished by heaven or heaven mm. is going to attack you. It is mm. not so much of the percentage of the amount that this $100 so is $10. It is the percentage of love. Mm. And you can only demonstrate love through mm. giving. Anytime you hear the word love, the second mm. word must give. Anytime you hear the word love, the second word must be, is it, is it, uh, is it, uh, is it a uh, uh, Philadelphia love? You know, is it agape love? The next thing is giving. When the romantic love went higher, a boy was walked out from his father's house and the mother, and they gave each other to one another because of the love that they had. When we love God, Apostle Paul will talk about churches that gave in their puberty. Because it was not the measure of the size of the offering in the pocket. It was the measure of mm. the love that they had. Mm. Something else we need to understand there is that the faithfulness, faithfulness is in every department. Mm. Faithfulness is in every, that's why when mm. we, we, in marriage, you talk about faithfulness. 
Mm. When, when it comes to serving in church, you talk about faithfulness. That's why you talk about observing time, mm. you know, all these kind of things. If you're a choir member, you mm. must come. Be faithful to come and practice. If you're really in church, be faithful in this. When mm. it comes to finances, mm. God talks in a certain percentage to be able to put us into an exam mm. of faithfulness. And mm. this faithfulness can only, let, let me say this, people who find it difficult to give in promotion of God's kingdom here on earth, they are not stingy people. They are stingy in the world system. But in the church, you don't call them stingy. You, you, it's the measure of their love towards mm. God and the measure of their honor that is very low. Because when you honor God, the barriers of percentage don't matter. But now back to the topic and within the context, of the theme of the meeting, the Bible says, when you do so, then try on my side. He said, I'm going to, you do it on your side, then on my side, try me. And what mm. I'm going to do on my side, I'm mm. going to open heaven. Mm. And when I open this heaven, mm. I'm going to pour you a blessing. Let me combine that with, uh, with the book of a wise man here, Proverbs chapter three, verse number nine. Listen to what he says, Proverbs chapter three, verse number nine, he says, honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruit of all thy increase. Now, what will happen? Verse number 10, he said, so shall thy plants be filled with plenty, mm -hmm. and thy press shall burst out with new wine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. shall burst out with new wine. Now, that mm -hmm. one, honor the Lord is not a test. Mm -hmm. It is an exam of spiritual mature people. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, are the are the are the Prima level or, you know, uh, 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 first level of giving is the giving of promises. Giving shall be given unto you. Good measure, shake it together and running over. Then you keep on graduating to the level of being taught about, you know, sacrifice, kingdom promotion, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. giving to us church project. You mm -hmm. come to tithing. But there is a higher dimension. It's called honoring the Lord. This one does not have a mount an amount. This one does not have a percentage. This one is not an issue of writing an, something in the envelope. This is pushing honor out. And God is saying now, let's come to the discussion of honor. Honor mm. the Lord with thy substance here. Mm. Nobody is pushing you. Nobody is teaching you on curses or blessings. Nobody mm. is telling you or threatening you on this. Mm. You have matured enough to mm. come to your father and mm. honor him. Mm. Our first brother, our Lord Jesus Christ, mm. honored his father to the cross. He mm. did not honor him just with the substance. His mm. body became the substance. He mm. hung on the tree mm. because he loved us. And now, now, hey, listen to this. There is nowhere that Jesus hung on the tree because according to the scripture, the scriptures do not express how much he loved God to die. It's how much he loved us to die, but how much he honored his father to be hanged on the cross. On the cross, the father so honor that he could carry sin just to make sure he has accomplished the mission that he was given by the father. To us, he loved us so much to die on the cross for us. So Jesus on the cross for us is love, and Jesus on the cross for his father is honor. So he fulfilled that a son honored his father by staying on the cross, being hung half naked, and he died so that we can have all this life, but he died to show the Father, I mm. honored you too much mm. to persevere the strife. I honored you so much to persevere mm. the persecution. You know, mm. he told them, I mm. can ask my father to send, mm. you know, the army right now, the ritual, the battalion to mm. come right now, but I honor him too much to make sure I have fulfilled and accomplished the mission. Now, mm -hmm. when our military, uh, military, I mean, police are trained all over the world, one mm -hmm. of the key things, which is a must, is mm -hmm. discipline and honor to their seniors and to their government. Mm -hmm. I believe with all my heart, like a country like America, mm -hmm. these young men and women don't go to war because of salary. There are many opportunities. There are some mm -hmm. things they can do in the country to be able to generate money but the honor they have for their flag, for their country, including our country Kenya here, they mm. are ready to go to war and stay there 
If they will lose their life, they will lose their life. But they honor their nations too much not to allow the enemy to interfere with their affairs. Now, here is where the Bible says, honor the Lord with your substance. Mm -hmm. Now, let me say this, that there are many givers and tithers that were giving in the church. Uh, I'm talking about our country before March because they were eye servant givers. And they were giving mm -hmm. by the measure of the preaching or because of the visibility, the envelope that will come as fat. Now, those are baby Christians. The moment you mature in the kingdom dimension, understanding mm. that we are not in the republic, we're in the kingdom, you mm. no longer give for your envelope to be seen, you mm. come to honor your father. Will they clap for you? That is, mm. that is none of your business. Will they shout your name? Will they say you are the best? You don't care if somebody will appreciate you. You came to honor your father, and because there is not a lot, a lot that you can do to go up to heaven, that the only thing you can do is to come where you serve, close mm. to the priest that God has put into that house, and honor the Lord with thy substance and mm. with the fast food, and then mm. God say, I will make sure you are not mm. working in the dimension of limitation of mm. the cup or the container that contains mm. your blessing, but mm. I'll move you beyond. Your bands will be filled mm. with mm. plenty, and mm. thy presence shall pass mm. out with wine. Mm. So it is very important to understand that financial faithfulness in the dimension mm. of honor commands mm. heaven to open. Listen, mm. this has nothing to do with bring the seed now. Mm. In the next seven days, you will find money outside your house. I, mm. I'm not talking about, this is, this is, this is a stuff here. You know, mm. Proverbs 3, 9 is a stuff of the people who understand on mm. how to walk on honor. Now, let mm. me, let me say this to you. There are people who honor some people, not because they are waiting for them to do something back, but they have yielded honor. Their givings mm. we do. Because mm. somebody will expect somebody to give them some time. But their mm. givings, we do not expect for somebody that you're giving. Because it is, mm. you, are, you, you honor this person too much. You mm. just want to release and give. This is the level that the church should go to. Mm. Not the level of being threatened. Not the level of being, you know, all these uh, promises. They are good. Some of them are here in the scriptures. But mm. the moment you elevate your standard mm. to walk with God in the dimension of honor, then mm. you understand. When you bring your tithe into the house of God, it's not mm. about the amount. It's not about the target that you have yourself. Mm. It's not about the pastor will see or who is counting mm. the offering. You have mm. come to honor your father. Mm. Number two, number two, things that open heaven is mm. patience under the authority. Patience under the authority. John chapter 1, verse number 19. John chapter 1, 19. Nathaniel answered. And said unto him, John chapter 1, I mean, John chapter 1, verse 49, sorry. John chapter 1, verse 49. Nathaniel answered and said unto him, Rabbi, thou art the son of God. Thou art the king of Israel. After Jesus has said, he saw him, you know, under the tree. Verse 50, the Bible says, and Jesus answered and said unto him, Because I said I saw, because I said unto thee, I saw thee under the fig tree. Believest thou, believest thou? Thou shalt see greater things than this one. Now, 51. And he said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Hereafter, that's what I want everybody to get there. Hereafter, ye shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending. <laughs> so now I said, I saw you. Mm. That is now. Mm. But if you can continue here, you have called me Rabbi. It's okay. Mm. Rabbi means you are my teacher. Mm. You are my pastor. You are my mm. senior. Mm. Now, if you will continue hereafter, if you shall continue sitting under me, that's what Jesus is saying. If mm. you shall continue submitting under the authority, mm. if you shall continue to express your honor, if we shall mm. continue in this journey together, then mm. what you're going to see is not just the prophecy. That you are mm. seated under the tree, that I mm. saw you with a green t shirt, that I saw you wearing a Jubilee or an ODM t shirt, that I saw you crossing <laughs> the road. No, no, you will move to a dimension where you yourself shall mm. have the heaven open and you shall mm. be able to see the angels ascending and descending. Mm. This was a privilege that was mm. accorded Jacob when he was running to Laban. Mm. He slept in a place where his grandfather Abraham had sacrificed. Mm. He pulled one of the stones. 
as the theologians normally tell us, that was one of the stones that had built a pillar where the father sacrificed to God and he mm. put it I mean, I mean, as a pillow under his head and he mm. saw the heavens open. But Jesus mm. is telling Nathaniel now, Nathaniel, mm. you don't need to check if your grandfather was a sacrificer, if your grandfather was in church, stop worrying about any generation matter. Sit under me here and hereafter you shall see heavens open without a stone as a pillow. Jacob had to carry a stone where his grandfather sacrificed. But you, don't worry if your, your grandfather was a good man or he was not a good man. But as you continue together with me, you shall see heaven open. You shall see heaven open. And when you see heaven open, you shall see the angels descending and ascending. Now, it's one of the keys that opens heaven is, 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 is a wrapped up in, in, in a paper or, or uh, you know, mm. uh, I, I call it, the way they call it when they are cooking, the foil paper mm. that is called patience. And patience and honor work hand in hand. Because when, to, for someone to develop honor, you see, you develop respect quickly because respect is all about pleasing the authority for you not to miss your reward. Mm. When you talk about honor, this is a choice you choose to mm. walk for mm. a long time, giving mm. honor, some actually for life, giving honor and keep on doing it. Now, just say it, son, you have just come to the ministry and you're so excited. You're calling me Rabbi because I prophesied to you. Mm. Keep on sitting here mm. and hereafter mm. you shall see heaven open and the angels of God are sending. Mm. It is hereafter, not here and now. Mm. No. Not here, right now, here mm -hmm. and now. No, 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 no. Let me encourage the assistant pastors. Let me encourage mm -hmm. ministers. Let me encourage elders. You know, mm -hmm. all people who are serving in church worshipers. Mm -hmm. You know, the greatest thing you need to conquer, mm -hmm. it is the, 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 the enemy of mm -hmm. lack of patience and this excitement of wanting to sit now. He said, no, the, here, here after he shall see. Mm -hmm. It is after. It is after. Even if you hear saying, now, 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 by fire, by fire. It's not now, now, now for you to open this heaven. No, no, no. Mm. Now, now, by fire, maybe we are dealing with a particular enemy that needs mm. to be crushed right now. We are dealing mm. with a certain spirit that needs mm. to be crushed right now. We need to command mm. heaven to respond to us right now. But mm. there's, there is a time heaven will only open because mm. you have been... Listen, <laughs> this is what Elijah said to Elisha. He said, what do you want? He said, I want a double portion. He said to him, you have asked for a difficult thing. Difficult thing, not the impossible thing. No, it's possible, but it's very difficult. And I believe it was not difficult to me because, you know, the, 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 the mantle fell. What was mm. difficult was not the falling of the mantle. It was the difficulty was in Elisha following mm. to the end. So he said, it's a difficult thing, but this is the answer. If you shall see me go, that means if you shall maintain under and remain mm. under this coverage until I'm taken away, then mm. you have it. Then you have it. So, so, so there is honor that opens heaven, but this honor that opens heaven is not, I joined this ministry in the last uh, three years. The last, mm. For the last three years, I've been here. The last five, no, 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 no. This is stay here. And after a period of time, heavens will open for you. That's why I normally say some people will, will, you know, will say, oh, a certain preacher came to us in our church, you know, from this country, and he preached. And all of a sudden, heaven opened, and I started having my breakthrough. That is not what opened your heaven. Mm. No, 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 no. That is not what opened heaven. Mm. Your heaven was open for how many years you stayed there giving honor to God in that house and to the man of God of that house for all those 10 years. And then God decided now to be able to put in the heart of your pastor to call a certain preacher who came. And that preacher came and made a declaration. That was the day you graduated in your school of patience. It is not that that speaker came and opened heaven. You graduated in your school of patience. So Nathaniel, don't be scared that I saw you under the tree. Get to know this one thing, that hereafter you shall see heaven open. So stay around because it is not now. It can open now. It will open after. It is after we have walked. After today, I can't promise this tomorrow, but after we have worked together, heaven is going to open for you. Now, that is where we talk about the dimension of developing the stamina 
to withstand rebukes. Stamina to withstand rebukes. And sometimes disappointment, sometimes loneliness, sometimes a challenge and the opposition from the brothers and the sisters. Some of them are the old brothers you find in that ministry, the old sisters you find in that ministry. You are able to break, you know, that, that stronghold, that, that spirit that is telling you, you have been here for too long. You know, you find them come and say, what are you, what, what, what are you getting after being here for too long? And then you find somebody who left, he has preached and preached and served mm -hmm. and do everything. Heaven seems like it's not opening. Mm -hmm. But by the love of God, all of a sudden you see their heart is moving around looking for a father to go again and continue from the class they dropped their exam because they had to complete that class by sitting around and waiting for their heaven to open hereafter. I pray for everyone that is watching this broadcast right now and that mm. is going to watch this broadcast after. May mm. God give you the gift of patience. Amen. Amen. May God mm. give you the gift of patience that you're able to develop it. Now, number two, number three, uh, number three, it's very important here. <laughs> it is the honor of the place of worship. This is a prayer. We normally uh, uh, pray with this prayer, mostly when we are going to um, open lounge, open new buildings for church, for people to worship. But I want us to see this. It's in the Old Testament, but I want us to see this scripture in a different way. The Bible says, when the heaven is shut, when the heaven is shut up and there is no rain because they have seen against thee, yet if they pray towards this place. Now, some people have taken this and I believe this is one of the, uh, it must be somewhere in the Quran because um, for Muslims to pray, they face a particular place. This is not what is uh, uh, I'm, 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 I'm bringing here across mm. to us. And I and I bless Most High and mm. I praise. Now, sorry, 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 sorry. I've uh, I've uh, mixed up the scripture here. That's the next one. Um, yet, if they pray towards this place and mm. confess Thy name and turn from their sin, when Thou dost afflict them. Now, you can continue. That's a scripture that we normally refer. It does not apply. The whole context does not apply in the New Testament church uh, 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 where the Bible talks about if my people, because we have graduated when we believed him to become the sons of God. But this mm. is the line I want you to say. Uh, confess thy name. Uh, mm. Not confess their sins. Confess thy name. Mm. In, you know, there is a time where we magnify sin beyond his name. We magnify our affliction, mm. our weakness. Mm. We, we stay so much confessing the negative, confessing the failure in his house. Mm. One of the ways you give honor in the house of God mm. is when you get there, you confess his name. Confessing mm. his name. Is it in your own house you have decided that this is the room I go to pray in? It may be in your car, but the, I'm talking about the time of prayer, the relationship, your, your, the, the time you're developing mm. the relationship with God in prayer. The power here is honor to his name. When you confess, then they confess thy name. So, so Solomon is saying they must gather in this place. And the first thing they must do in gathering this place is honor to watch. The, that's why everywhere, you know. Uh, all of us, all over the world, the desire a genuine Christian has is for us to go back, for this thing to, to come to an end, and mm. us go back into the house of the Lord in mm. the place that is called by the name of the Lord for mm. our brothers to gather, and mm. there we are able to confess mm. his name. Remember, salvation comes by confessing his name and believing in, his, in, in your heart. Now, mm. the confession of his name mm. is the expression of honor to him. Mm. Now, let me let me let me say this to us, uh, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Honor is like love. Uh, uh, nobody can see love. No, I mm. mean, you, you can't see love. You can't you can't pick something and say this is love. The same mm. way you can't pick something and say this is honor. Mm. We show. 
for you to see love, we show, mm. we demonstrate mm. love. You know, for God so love, we demonstrate it. Now, when we confess his name and we, we, we bow to his name, we are demonstrating honor. Because say, how can you say you love God if you don't love your neighbor? The same thing it was. That's why honor is in all dimensions. It concludes by saying honor all men. Because you express that honor mm -hmm. through something that you do, through something that you gave, through a way that you behave. So mm -hmm. listen, the Bible says, you come to my house. Mm -hmm. Remember, that time, he says, when the heaven is shut, that means heaven is closed. Heaven mm -hmm. is not open. When they come to this house, the first thing they should do is to mm -hmm. confess the name. You see, mm -hmm. you don't confess the smaller one. Mm -hmm. In the presence of the great one, mm -hmm. is it you know it is it is a waste of time for you to have an appointment with the president and mm -hmm. you go there mentioning your area leader, like in Kenya mm here -hmm. you call them MCA. Mm -hmm. You are telling the president as the MCA told us. You see the name of the MCA or even member of parliament in the presence of the president does not matter because mm -hmm. like now in Kenya the other day when we were locked down. The, the president did not consult our MP. Do you mm. think we can, when he said lockdown, including MPs were locked down. Some of them mm. were arrested. You know, mm. some of governors, everybody, because he said mm. this. Now, how can we appear before God, claim we honor him, and then we confess our mistake more than mm. his name? His name is greater than our shortcoming. Mm. You know, can you imagine appearing before God of the whole earth and you are trembling, confessing about your genealogy? and generation a uh, problem and you are there talking about your people who is your grandfather before god almighty we mm. confess him and then his grace and his power will fall mm. like an acid and mm. terminate everything that was holding us but for mm. you to do it honor must be in your heart and then in your lips in your mouth when you're talking it is in you in mm. a particular place that you have given honor now mm. I, I know we are in a digital era where uh, some places actually nowadays they don't say like they used to say back in, in our time that, you know, take out your heart, Kofia, we want to pray. Uh, uh, you know, I went somewhere when we were, we were praying for food, the TV was so loud and, 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 and still they, they prayed. They didn't switch off the television <laughs> or even lower the voice to pray. Mm. Now, and you see, there's that argument. They say God was not watching news. Uh, God was not listening to this. What you may be right because the communication between your heart and God, but you are polluting that environment. You are not giving honor to that environment, and that's why most of the time we will only conclude a lot of um, that has no details cannot be documented, and then at the end of all that noise is when we say. Then you want it in the name of Jesus. So we, we are including him. But this is what the wise man said. When they come here, the first thing they should do is confess. That means elevate the name of Jesus, the name of God the Father, God the Holy Spirit, before we mention of any need. And then the heaven that was shut and the rain that was not ready will begin to fall. May I submit this to every one of us that we we, we must never argue or debate on the honor that should be accorded to that name. It is not just the name. It is the name that is above every other name, mm. including the heaven we are mentioning. Mm. Heaven and earth respect mm. this person. His name is greater, Jesus Christ. Every time we confess his name, mm. we express the honor mm. we have towards him. So mm. every time we walk in honor, we command. Mm. Now listen. Let me combine these this, uh, two verses, uh, uh, like a statement to us so that you understand. The Bible says, the number of your days I will multiply. So, so, so in other words, I know the number of your days. If mm -hmm. I know the number of your hair, I know like, for, for example, myself, heaven must be recording that my hair is disappearing because of the, you know, uh, uh, when you mm -hmm. have bald head, heaven will declare, uh, uh, Apostle Moses, hair number one million and something like he knows then he knows the numbers of my days and he said mm -hmm. he will increase something to one he said he will he will with long life he will satisfy me with long life and yet he, again he says 
Honor your father and mother, then you live long. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. So if you will multiply my days, you go. If you say, if I sit under the shadow of the most high, that in long life you will start satisfy me. What has my mother and my father got to do with my long life? He said, listen, I'm going to give you more days. You're going to live long, but I have put my examiners. Express your honor to your father and mother. Then I will make sure that nothing will resist your longevity. Mm -hmm. I will command heaven to remain open under you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to cover you against sickness and diseases. Keep mm -hmm. on flying. Fly, planes may fall from the sky, but not the one you have entered. Keep mm -hmm. on driving, but mm -hmm. you will not die on the road mm -hmm. because you are not only my star who has mm -hmm. expressed your love towards me to, to claim the scriptures with long life. You are mm -hmm. also expressing the keys for long life. One of it being honor your father and mother. Mm -hmm. You see? So every time we take up the responsibility and we express it in the days of the Old Testament, in the days of New Testament, then we receive the reward that has been promised in the Bible. It's just like, uh, let me take this bottle of water. I believe everybody can be able to see. It's like God saying, my son, uh, Apostle Moses, I have given you water. And because this table cannot hold water. Mm. water. Water cannot be suspended in the air. I have mm. packaged it in the bottle. This bottle, the only thing I need to do is just to open up and enjoy my water. So he said, when you come to my house, I have already given you a blessing. You are blessed with everything. But when you learn, mm. for me to know you give me on and you regard me, confess my name. Confess my name. Mm. Actually, in sin here, it does not say you confess. It says, and turn from their sin. Actually, sir, according to the book of James, the Bible says we confess our sins to one another. When you come in my presence, I am not one another. We are not equal with you. Come here to confess my name. And mm. all you need is to turn around. Then the heavens that were shut will mm. open for mm. you. Mm. This was a prayer. I conclude with a mm. prayer that was prayed by Nebuchadnezzar when he got the understanding. He, he played around with God and did not give him honor. When he got the understanding and he returned, among the words he said, and the, at the end of days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted my eyes, Daniel 4, 34, unto heaven, and my understanding returned unto me, and I blessed the Most High, and I praised and honored him. So what was lacking Mm. In his in his life mm. was praise to God to His name and honor to His name. Mm. Everything in the world can become cheaper. Right now, I'm seated here in Kenya, Nakuru town, mm. and I'm able to preach together with God's servant who is seated all the way in the U.S. in Atlanta, mm. Georgia. Mm. But let me say this: it may be very simple the way we talk on phone and WhatsApp. Mm. Those days we used to like to write letters and wait for long. Mm. But it is very important to understand mm. his name will mm. remain the most powerful name. And mm. when we honor his name, regard mm. his name, and confess to his name, then mm. we are able to command our heavens to open. You don't mm. need the experience to be mm. pushed in a place and then understanding of honor comes to us. Let's mm. walk in this honor and then we open our heavens in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, servant of God, for relaying uh, that message uh, with such great intensity. And uh, I'll only uh, say uh, what you have said, that uh, yes, sir. that honor is a key that uh, yes, demonstrates how much we love God. Because as you yes, have sir. said, uh, Marakai uh, verse number one, six says, uh, if, uh, it says, a son honors his father. And if you continue mm. down there, it says, now if I am your father, 
where mm -hmm. is my honor? Yes, my that's God, honor. Yes, that's God who is asking. He was saying, if yes. I am your uh, if I am your father, where is my honor? Mm -hmm. And one of the mm -hmm. things that uh, we demonstrate that we love God is that uh, we honor God. And there, uh, as mm -hmm. the, the apostle has said, uh, there, there are things, there are principles God has prescribed in his word uh, on the things mm -hmm. we need to honor, on the institutions, on the, the people we are supposed to honor, on the precepts mm -hmm. we are supposed to honor. And, and uh, my, my mm -hmm. prayer for all of us, as uh, we ask God's servant to pray for us, is that um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, God may help each and every one of us to, to discern mm -hmm. this, that uh, each one of us need to walk in open heaven. And, and as God's servant mm -hmm. has said, when God talks mm -hmm. about tithing, when the Bible talks talks about mm. honor God with your substance. It's not that mm. heaven is, is asking or is in fun. Uh, uh, mm. The Bible says in the book of Psalms that uh, uh, God was saying in Psalms 50, he said, if I was hungry, would, would I come asking you for mm -hmm. for food if, mm -hmm. if god needed mm -hmm. the money to to do what he mm -hmm. he, he he was he he needed uh the bible mm -hmm. says uh the cattle in the hills belongs mm -hmm. to him yeah, the bible says oh, yeah. uh, the bible says the book of haggai that silver and gold is his mm -hmm. haggai i believe mm -hmm. to verse eight says uh, silver yes. and gold yes. are mine god, mine god says he owns mm -hmm. silver and he owned mm. gold. So God, God mm. is not asking you and me. And, mm. uh, and, and mm. I love uh, I love what uh, uh, one God servant, our, our one of our fathers in faith, Bishop put it. He, he says, uh, a rich man like God cannot take a heart out from me. All God me, yeah. wants, for, all God is asking me mm. is that uh, do you mm. honor me? Because he owns mm. all. So, so mm. this is what we are saying. We are saying mm. each and every one of us uh, uh, desire is to walk in open mm. heaven. And there are mm. things, as I have said, and the God's servants has explained that three of them, that number one, honoring God in your financial faithfulness. He, he has mm. said it very, very well. Number two, you're gonna have to be patient under authority because he's mm. saying being patient under authority is, is what will mm. op open heaven over you. Number three, mm. he has said honor of the praise of worship. Mm. Honor of the praise of worship, honor his name. Mm. And uh, mm. I want to bring it back to you, servant of God, that uh, you may pray for mm. us so that uh, mm. uh, uh, to mm. each and every one of us, this word may, may come active and, and alive uh, because I believe mm. each and every of those hundreds and hundreds of you who are watching, I do believe mm. you want to walk in open heaven. You you want mm. your children to walk in open heaven. And I said yesterday, mm. uh, and we have been saying this, whatever can be open can be closed. Anything that can yes. be open can be closed. closed. And, and we are mm. saying, and, and God's servant has mentioned it very well, when Jesus was being baptized, he was among thousands, he was among hundreds, others who are being mm. baptized, and only mm. him experienced mm. heaven. Let me tell mm. you this, we are so much worried about lockdowns, but, but can I tell you, you can be locked down by governments, but not the, how your heaven opens is, is not determined by the government, it's determined by you, meaning, the government can lock you down in a house, but you can be enjoying mm. an open heaven. And that's the most oh, yes. important thing, because even if oh, the yes. government releases and, and adds the curve you, and you're walking in open heaven, uh, in close mm. heaven, I mean, you still continue mm. to struggle. You still continue mm. to lack. You can still mm. continue to walk in depression and frustration. Mm. But uh, mm. our prayer for you is this. Uh, may, mm. may God enable us to honor his mm. word. So God serve and pray Amen. for us. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the opportunity to come on air yes. and bring your word to your sons and your daughters, wherever they have been watching us from. Yes. Honor is a responsibility. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, what we are required to do becomes so difficult, especially mm -hmm. in the spiritual kingdom matters. Mm -hmm. But there is the word grace. And that is what I ask mm -hmm. over my life over mm. the life of all those that are watching, that there will be mm. grace to walk in honor. Because Lord, mm. we refuse to come down here from heaven, sent yes. by you through our parents, and keep mm. on walking for the rest of our lives mm. under a closed heaven. Mm. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ, closed heaven is not our portion. Whatever Amen. it takes in this dimension of honor, mm. we walk in it in yes. the name of Jesus. Yes. Faithfulness with our finances, Lord, we pray grace yes. in that area. Yes. Faithfulness in sticking and serving under the authority to be prayed for grace yes, in that area. Yes, 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 Faithfulness, yes. oh God, in honor oh, yes. your name and the place yes. that is mentioned in your name, oh God. 
we yes, ask Lord. grace in that area that yes, in the Lord. name that is above every other name, none yes. of us in this yes. 30 day series of open heaven God. will end that days and remain in the mighty name of Jesus. I yes, come Lord. against the spirit of a bride. I yes. come against the spirit of feeling so much important than yes. the creator because a creature has no she power, kara, has no authority kara, over zi, the creator. Yes, but Lord. in the name of Jesus Christ, having the voice yes. that we are receiving you, we yes. crush the spirit of pride in us. Yes. And in the name yes. of Jesus Christ, we Lord, begin to walk in honor in the she, name Lord, of the Lord. Lord. They may laugh at us today, but yes. to the glory of God tomorrow, the story yes. will be different. In yes. the name of Jesus yes. Christ, yes. oh Lord God Almighty, as you say, you will open heaven and also you will give us what the locust has eaten. And yes. decree in this hard time. What yes. has been eaten by this lockdown? What yes. has been eaten by COVID-19? Oh what yes. has been eaten by joblessness? We have yes. nations where 10 yes. million dollars yes. have been lost. I yes. decree by this key of yes. financial faithfulness. Oh Let God. heaven open Shatar upon our lives, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree yes. us and our families, yes. everybody that is connected to us, we will confess like that. Yes. That was that. Yes. And now I'm old. I have not seen the righteous yes. for yes. Yes. And our yes. righteousness is not out of our ability, but yes. Christ became our righteousness. And for yes. that reason, we decree Ra and declare that we will Kamazi. walk in this kingdom yes. so, to Kamazi. command heaven open on us, and we shall never be yes. called the bad. We shall yes. never be called people who are walking on a dry land because Matazi rain begins to rain according to the dimension and levels and mm. the needs of everyone that is listening. I command and a special favor and special blessing upon all the viewers tonight in mm. Jesus' mighty name. I pray, and we all say, Amen and Amen. Amen, Amen, Amen. God servant Apostle amen. Moses, uh, amen. it is uh, you, was a great honor having you all the yes, way sir. from uh, yes, Nakuru. Uh, yes, we sir. count it a blessing the fellowship amen. that uh, we personally enjoy in terms of yes, uh, you and your ministry, uh, New Brother yes, Empowerment Chapel. Uh, we want yes, to uh, give you like one minute, tell tell the people where uh, uh, the ministry is located so that uh, anybody who would want to come and hear you and see you, uh, where they can yes, find you. Yes. Mm. Thank, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, my viewers. Uh, I passed a new Bath Empowerment Chapel that is uh, located in an estate called Restract or Rescos. Uh, in Akur Rescos, it is within the large Langalanga area. And um, New Bath is a known place. So, so those who are in Akuru and they use public means, when you use uh, Langalanga uh, Matatus number 48, you just tell them you want to alight at New Bath. And that's where they will drop you. Uh, those who are uh, driving at the KFA roundabout, there is a West Side Mall. When you take that road going down, don't stop until where you will find New Bath Empowerment Chapel sign. You mm. turn on your left, in just a minute or 30 seconds drive, you are at the gate of our church. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, God's servant. Amen. We love you and uh, we will. Uh, we are looking forward to hosting you again. Uh, Thank you, So sir. that you can continue in the same uh, dis uh, discussion uh, because we believe, yes, as you have said yes. and we have said together, uh, we can mm. walk again in close mm. heaven. And we want to declare mm. to all those who are watching this uh, Open Heaven Conference, uh, may yes. grace be provided for each and every Amen. one of us to walk in Amen. Open Heaven. So that as God's servant has prayed, restoration mm. may become your mm. portion for what it is that uh, th this pandemic has eaten or mm. any opportunity and the time loss. So uh, mm. I say this is the 12th day of the uh, Open Heaven Conference and uh, mm. we are believing God for, for great things. And so yes, until sir. tomorrow, we, we want to declare uh, God's blessing uh, upon each and every one of you. Uh, we'll see mm. each other tomorrow, same time, 3 p.m. U.S. time here and uh, mm. uh, 10 p.m. Kenyan time. So thank you, God's yes. servant, for being together with thank us. Thank you, sir.